Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you are watching this on the new year day or first two weeks of the new year, I wish you a happy new year 2023. May 2023 be an extraordinary year for you and us. 2022-2021 has been quite challenging for us and I hope this year will get better. Same to you. Right, today I want to talk about the Blue Soul Note and Note 2i. The Note 2i released quite some time ago and it was replaced with the latest Note in year 2021. These two are the popular streamer that um, often our customer use this with Dina Flip DAC over the Core XL output and optical output on the Note 2i. And an important upgrade done to the Note, the latest one in year 2021, in our opinion, was the USB output where you may connect the USB port on the Note, the latest one, to an external DAC over USB. So to us, this is an important upgrade. So in year 2021, we decided to buy this Note streamer from Busan so that we can have a hang of it, how to do, how, how to parameterize the Busan Note to work better with Dina 5 DAC. And recently, we bought the Note 2i. Later on, I'll tell you why we buy the Note 2i. Right, we often get asked by the customer that I'm pretty happy with the Blue Sound Note or Note 2i with the Dina Flips DAC, but I want to upgrade. What are the streamer or the deck upgrades should I go for? So I always answer the customer in this fashion. If you are happy with the performance of the streamer, if you are happy with the responsiveness of the application, the Blue Sound, the Blue OS, the operating system, and you're pretty much used to the operating system, I think, in my opinion, you are pretty much set with a good streamer. So this Blue Sound performance is pretty okay for the sound for the price that you pay for. Uh, a lot of customer like the Blue Sound operating system much better compared to other streamer on the market. Or rather, they're used to the operating system of the Blue OS. So if you were to ask me this question, which streamer to change to, uh, in my opinion, uh, the streamer has to be uh, user-friendly. The operating system has to be fluid. The operating system has to be responsive and you must like the application interface and stuff like that. That is sound quality aside. So if this Blue Sound, Blue OS is for you. I think there's no need to upgrade the streamer. So you may look for, if you must upgrade, or if you want to upgrade, you can consider uh, adding a DDC, consider getting a better DAC, or I would say, uh, look for some room acoustic treatment if the room is not treated like mine. A bit of reflection here. You can look into those aspects, but uh, if all these are taken care of and you still would like to upgrade, we have one solution for you. And that's also one reason why we buy the Blue Sound Note 2i. So you may, have, you may have seen on the market that there are some DIY kit to modify the Blue Sound Note or the Note 2i switch mode power supply with an external linear power supply. So Note and Note 2i comes with a built-in power supply. It is a switch mode power supply where you may use the supply power cord. Oops. You may use a supply power cord to connect to the back of the unit to power up the streamer. So both are pretty much similar fashion where it comes with a switch mode power supply built in. So some of the company on the market found a way to modify the Blue Sound Note and the Note 2i to use with an external linear power supply. That is also why we buy the Note 2i. There are some differences between the Note 2i and the Note the, the built-in switch mode power supply of the two units are different. So if you have the older Note 2i, you need to buy the correct linear power supply DIY kit. I would say it is a kit, a power supply, no, linear power LPSU kit for the Note 2i. Whereas if you have the latest Note, it looks a little bit different. The latest Note has a shining um, centerpiece where the Note 2i has a little bit of perforated uh, top cover. So if you have the latest note, again, the DIY LPSU kit 
is different so you need to know which model you have and buy the correct kit for the unit so we thought it shouldn't be too tough to design or manufacture this kit for you to upgrade the Note 2i and the Note and here we are today LH5 Audio Blue Sound Note 2i DIY kit that allows you to convert the Blue Sound Note 2i switch mode power supply to use with an external linear power supply so again Note 2i and Note are two different models the built-in power supply are different as well so we will be offering two types of um, linear power supply kit for the customer who use Note and the Note 2i and this video I'll show you how to modify the Note 2i with this little kit here right let me put all the boxes aside and show you how to do it so this is the Note um, the boxes um, it comes with a pretty nice design I think and let me, let me put the Note aside and the power cords we don't need it anymore and this is how the kit looks like when you receive it so it comes with a linear power supply kit itself and uh, some accessory um, cables and brackets for you to mount this kit in the Note 2i I'll do this for Note 2i and in the next video I'm going to do it for the latest Note from Blue Sound so this is how the kit looks like a uh, power inlet here allows you to connect external linear power supply 5 volt to supply to all this LC circuitry here so this is a filtering circuitry to filter the 5 volt as well as to saw quite substantial amount of 5 volt in this kit and over here there's a connector for you to connect the output of this power supply kit to the built-in motherboard of Blue Sound and the small little package here there are some screws nuts as well as a bracket for you to connect um, the 5 volt DC socket at the back so I'll show you how to do this and these are the screws that I'm not taking out right now a disclaimer modification of the product will void the warranty if you are not comfortable if you are not comfortable in modification or if you are not comfortable in taking this to your hand please do not modify and I'm pretty much well versed in all this electronic stuff I'm in electronic trend so modification to me is pretty simple but if you are not handy you may look for someone um, in your region in your country to do it for you you may purchase the kit from us from, or from any other company that offer this kit and take it to electronic shop they, will, they should be able to modify it for you but in my opinion it's pretty simple if you are comfortable in voiding the manufacturer warranty you may continue to watch this video otherwise you may stop now and I'll see you next time right to modify this um, Note 2i is pretty simple and many of you I think uh, do not know that this piece of metal piece here can be taken out quite easily it's magnet on like that so there's this uh, latch here that you can just use your fingernail or anything sharp to pull this metal plate out and you'll be able to access the screw over here there are two screws that is holding the top cover the tools required are really this a bigger Phillips screwdriver plus sign a smaller Phillips screwdriver plus sign again there's no need of cutter there's no need of soldering and you may be able to remove or dismantle the top cover and dismantle the switch mode power supply of the Note 2i and replace this quite easily again this is the first time I'm doing this live I would say um, if I make any mistake please do not laugh at me right so the next action that you are going to do will work the warranty so please be extra careful or please think about it whether you want to proceed with this modification uh, you may have seen online videos or review of the linear power supply modification of the blue sound note or note 2i I will, I will not comment on the sound quality um, this video is more of telling you that it is possible to modify this and we do offer this linear power supply kit over bittechnic.com so if, if you are interested let's proceed right I think the video is capturing this way I need to use my left hand to unscrew the screw so that you guys can see how to do it 
it's pretty straightforward. Two screw, one. Uh, please do not misplace the screw, you are going to need it later. Two screws. Right. Afterwards, you'll be able to pop this top cover quite simply open. And there's a there are three, one, two, three, four. There are three, there are four clips at the front here. You need to use a little bit of force. It could be quite scary to pull the top cover open, but gently please, because there are some wires that is connecting the motherboard and the control board on top of top cover. So pull this guy out gently. Clack. Nothing break, I hope. And this is how the blue sound note look like internally. So these two pieces cannot be removed entirely or cannot be separated entirely because there are some wires that could be quite tedious to remove. And there's this flat cable here, could be quite tedious to remove. So I'm going to leave it like that and put this on the tabletop. Thankfully, it is uh, sufficient for us to rest this in this fashion. And this is how the Blue Sound, again, Blue Sound Note 2 I looks like internally. And let me use my faithful pencil for my daughter with, um, I think it's a dinosaur, as a pointer. So this is where the switch mode power supply is, where the AC power supply comes in here. And the switch mode power supply does its job to convert this to different voltages for the motherboard. So as you can tell, there's this two connector here that you need to remove, one and two. I would suggest to remove the connector first so that we can remove the switch mode power supply later on. Right, the first connector is pretty simple, just two wire, you can just pull it up quite easily. The second one is a little bit more difficult. Uh, it is quite a lot of pin, oh, it's relatively easy as well. Just pull this guy out and we'll be able to access or remove this switch mode power supply module. And the linear power supply module looks like this and is it can be fitted very nicely in this compartment here later. At this point, we'll need a smaller screwdriver that I prepared earlier to unscrew the switch mode power supply. Again, do not misplace the screw. You'll need it later. There are total four, four screws, I think. First time doing this, please pardon me. One, two, I think we can remove two screws and we can just unscrew the two screw here to lift this guy, the, th the three screw here. <coughs> remove the three screws here to remove the switch mode power supply module. I've seen some guide uh, on the YouTube channel, but I since I'm selling this kit, I thought of having my own content so that I do not you know, infringe the copyright of other seller. Right. Okay. Okay. Just put this safely aside. I think we can remove this module already. No, we can't. We need to remove the small little screw. There are two screws here holding the bracket of the AC power supply inlet. So in summary, there are four screws to remove for the switch mode power supply module. And there are three screws to remove for the AC power socket as well as the bracket. There's this bracket here. I don't think you can see this, but this is how it looks like. The bracket that is holding the back panel as well as the switch mode power supply module. Put all this safely aside. We are going to need it later. So this is how the switch mode power supply look like. Ta-da! So now this module is completely taken out from the Blue Sound Note 2i and we may say goodbye to this guy. Bye. <laughs> okay, this is the uh, replacement module, the linear power supply uh, kit from LHY Audio. It fits nicely over here. Well, really nicely. And we may use the supply, or we may use the existing screw to hold this module. But before I forget, it comes with a little bit, a little bracket here to allow us to cover the hole here. So this is the bracket that we we made to set a set ourselves as apart from other manufacturer where you can cover this hole here and it has indication of this little socket here require 5 volt DC and there are two LED on the power supply kit to tell you that the power supply kit is on or it is in protection mode. 
So apparently this Blue Cell Note 2 i has this protection mode to, to cut off the power supply module just in case there are some faults happen internally. But interestingly, on the latest note, it doesn't have this feature. I do not know why, but uh, this is how it is. So this is how it looks like when the bracket is um, installed with the, I, I wouldn't say bracket, uh, when the back panel is installed with the linear power supply kit. Right, um, let me do it gently so that the front panel will not fall off. And this is how it should look like. Okay, let me secure the four screw, the two screw internally first. Right, I always like to do the diagonal fashion. But in order to screw the diagonal fashion, I'll need this bracket here. Oops, oh nice, there's a bracket. There's a magnet. Oh, the magnet is actually for this back panel. Where's the back panel? Here. Not for this. I'm not sure whether you can see this. But I'll, I'll try to take some photo afterwards so that you guys can see um, what how, how is it being done uh, once it is fully assembled. The magnet is annoying now. Just keep on sticking the bracket. Right, the bracket will allow us to hold this unit. Oops, I, sh I could have used a plier. Or I should take the video on another angle so that you guys can see what's going on. But again, please pardon me, I'm not a professional YouTuber. I do not know how to edit video or neither do I know how to script video. I think scripting YouTube video is pretty challenging, it's time consuming, where you need, really need to spend a lot of time in doing the work. I'm more like a talking head, where I talk to you like a normal person while filming this video. Right, I should show you this. This is how the power supply module look like with a bracket when it is installed at the base of this Note 2 i chassis. Okay, install the last screw for the power supply and we should tighten the four screw securely, firmly just by using hand will do Alright, and don't forget we need to secure this two little screw here with the back panel as well as the bracket let me do the bracket first and at this point we'll need the bigger screwdriver it's good that this screwdriver comes with a bit of magnet so that you can hold the screw yes let's tighten it using my non-dominant hand left hand i'm a right-handed guy okay here we go aha now the challenging part we need this <laughs> I do not have my plier with me on my table. Okay, LHY Audio supplied these two nuts for us to secure the back panel with the small little screw hole here. So at this point, if you have a tweezer with you, that will be good. If not, it will be quite challenging like what I'm doing now. It supplies with two little, uh, two longer screws as well. So these two longer screws are supposed to secure this um, back panel with the PCB or the, the back, back plate that has this indication of 5 volt protection as well as the um, DC on uh, I do not think I can do it without a, without a tweezer or plier I do not have it on my table <laughs> I will skip this part then but anyway you need, you need to have Two, two nuts and two screws to secure the back panel as well as the back plate. So this is the um, additional tool is required to, to help you with this work. I do not think without the I do not think you can do it just with finger because the access of the space here is very tight. But I will leave it by for now. And this is the connecting cable from the linear power supply unit to the motherboard. So this supply the power to this main board and it will power up the unit, of course, with an external power supply. 
It's a pretty good quality cable. You need to bend it a little bit so that it can fit nicely. So plug it to one end firmly. Make sure it's seated properly and bend this slightly to its position so that you can secure this connector from the linear power supply kit to the main board. Okay, it's tough to see this from this angle, but it should be manageable. Okay, it is done. Just to make sure both connectors are seated nicely, no hiccup. Right, pretty much it. You have successfully modified the Note 2i with an external linear power supply kit. Right, do you want to power up it now to make sure it is working or do you want to cover it? It's completely up to you. For me, I'll choose to cover it back and power it up with a linear power supply 5V. Please remember, you must use a 5V linear power supply. In case you use the wrong voltage, you will likely kill the Blue Sound Note 2i. Please use 5V linear power supply. Okay, I'll choose to cover it before I apply the power. And covering this takes a little bit of challenge because there are four, one, two, three, four, there are four clips at the front panel here that you need to use a bit of force and align them properly. Whoops, align them properly before you can cover it properly. You will hear this click sound once this is covered. And again, it's challenging. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing this. I need to be extra careful as well. I do not wish to break any of the clip. Right. But if you are strong, if you are if you are with a strong heart, I think you can do it quite easily. Yeah, it's done. Just like that. Is it done? Right. It is done. There's no gap in between. This is how it looks like originally, and this is how the linear power supply module is installed. With the metal plate cover here, it will look pretty good. Uh, before I forget, I should apply the two screw <coughs> to secure the top cover with the chassis. So use the um, use the default screw that you removed just now to tighten the top cover with the unit. Right. Okay, the video is running a bit long. Please bear with me. Top cover is secure with the unit and stick this metal piece cover here and it will, it will look just like a new one with a linear power supply DC socket here. So once you apply the DC power 5V, again I must stress this, 5V linear power supply, you can purchase this from bitechnic.com as well. You should be able to power up the blue sound note. So it comes with a DC cable, it's a DC 2.5mm center pin, 5.5 diameter to allow you to connect to this blue sound note DC socket right over here. So turn on the guy, turn on the linear power supply, 5 volt, and you should see that the blue sound is turned on with a light in the middle and with a light at the top cover. And at the back, you should see the green color LED turn on to tell you that 5 volt is supplied to the unit and the unit is being powered up with green LED light flashing. Right, so it takes about about 10 minutes to do the job and in my opinion it's pretty simple for you to remove the switch mode power supply and with an external linear power supply kit for the Note 2i. For the latest Note, the power supply is a little bit different. I'll do another video for the latest Note later on. But both kits are available to purchase on our website now. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know how do you find the sound quality improvement after the modification. For me, I'll just show you how to do it. Sound quality wise, it's not my strength. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.